That day began just like any other day. I woke up early and was leisurely strolling through the field to take my turn watching the sheep. Okay, okay. I intended to get up early, but as usual, things weren't going quite the way I'd planned. I know, I know, it's hard to believe, but I wasn't always the polished, respected shepherd I am today. Oops, sorry. I'm just running a little late. There sure aren't a lot of people traveling today. It's the census. We all need to be counted by the degree of Caesar Augustus. I'm Joanna, and this is my little sister, Simone. You want to stay and play with us? Sorry, I need to go watch my sheep. Gotta go! What I didn't know that was that day had set into motion events that would change the course of my life and of history. Today could be the day we see a miracle. A savior in our time would be a miracle. Expectations in the
again. Its shift was supposed to start well. The sun was there. And now it's there. Don't be so hard on him, Abigail. You know he gets distracted. Besides, I like having a break. Being out in the field, I think it's peaceful out here. There's enough to do helping Mom at home. I can sit back, put my feet up, and... Those are my sisters. Everyone in the family helps out in the pasture. They're on the early morning shift. There you are, Nathaniel. How is your trip through town? Better than this latest trip over the sheep? I've heard people have been arriving by the hundreds, more than we've ever seen. I tripped over some nice kids, Joanna and Simone. They're here for the census. But on to more important things, the sheep. How's Max? How's Max's foot? Has Beach just been getting enough exercise? I promised Joe I'd help him stretch out his left hind foot. He injured it in our self-defense class last week. They're sheep, Nathaniel. Seriously? You talk about them like they're your friends. What? They're just sheep, Abigail. What kind of person would be friends with sheep? Uh, I was friends with sheep. And I had the greatest adventures with them. For me, it was all about the sheep. Have fun with your friends, Nate. We'll be back when the sun goes down. I had a peaceful, easy feeling with my sheep. I mean, I knew they couldn't actually talk. But when I looked in their eyes, it was like I could almost hear what they were thinking. I know what you're thinking, that it's not a possibility. You should be talking or telling a story. Sheep are sort of dim, so the chance of having any opinion is slim. Yeah, buddy. Before I knew it, my shift was over, and I was running back through town, thinking about the great meal I would have. Whoa, running Shepherd Alert, you really don't stand still long, do you? Nathaniel! There, there you are! Can we come on an adventure with you? I'm bored! Well, I'm just heading home for supper. We have some food. Do you like supper? Well, I guess I could eat with you and then take you to see my sheep. Sheep? Sheep? We get to see the sheep? She just wants to avoid going to bed. Simone eventually convinced me, and soon we were walking back to the fields under a deep, dark blanket of night. You're gonna love my flock. No, Beatrice, she's the feisty one. Then there's Max. He's so cool. The all fathers. All, the others all follow his lead. Then there's Jojo. He's just so funny. I could talk about my sheep all day, but little did I know, 
something unbelievable would happen that night. So I thought I would try it, you know? What harm could it be to try a different style? A straightener would add a few inches and could really elongate my midriff. Ugh! Beatrice! Are you talking about that botched hairstyle you tried last season? Look like you had been hit by lightning. It's called a crimping iron, boys, and it was on fleece. On fleece? It's the latest lingo. I'm sure it'll catch on soon. But anyways, crimped wool was in fashion in the fall. Ask anyone. And that crimper had five stars on Amazon. <laughs> As for the wool treatment, I had that mud imported in from the pasture at Lambton Abbey. I could have been the top fashionista in the field if Cece hadn't left the mud in so long. You were certainly the dirtiest. It was bad. <laughs> it was supposed to evaporate. The wool was supposed to. Stop playing your game, Beatrice. You're shaking me out. Uh, that's not me, Max. Sorry, hi, my ear plugged in. What's happening? What is that? Bah, oh my sheepness. Stay calm, everyone. We're trying a technique that went in a sheep defense class last week. The sheep man. Hold close and move as one. Left, right, left, right. I feel silly. This seems just like swing. What's it supposed to do? I heard it scares way better. There are more of them appearing. Sway faster! shock and excitement in what the angels had told us. Had the Messiah really been born? And why would the angels choose to tell shepherds? As I've said before, I wasn't always the popular public figure I am today. And yet we couldn't ignore what we saw and what we heard. Did it work? Are they gone? 
Yep, they're gone. Yes, the sheep and air work. That's your takeaway from this? Yes, yes it is. Those were angels, Jojo. We just witnessed something extraordinary. We're gonna go see this baby, right? I don't know. Sounds like a risky journey. After seeing that, I don't think we can stay here. Plus, I better man man Nathaniel we want to go to. We'll stick with him. Are your sheep okay? They haven't moved in a while. Hey, little buddies. Everything all right? Max, Beatrice, Cece, Jojo? Bad. They were just scared. Don't worry, guys. You're safe and sound. Bad. Did we really just see that? I wouldn't have believed it if I would have seen it for myself. Were those real angels? Am I having a seriously weird dream? They were definitely angels. But what was even more unbelievable was their announcement that the Messiah was born as a baby. But we always thought he would come with great power. Yes, everyone will know when the Messiah has arrived. Definitely. The prophets say that he will bring a new kingdom. But the angels said that the Messiah is a baby. Could that be true? What if he isn't supposed to lead a battle here on earth? Could it be all about that baby? Could it be, oh could it be, that God never planned to send a savior in a conquering king? Could it be, oh could it be, what we've been waiting for, our expectations, our wishes and dreams?
Well, if it's all about that baby, we gotta go see him. What are we waiting for? Let's think this through. Do we really know what we saw? I know I was feeling pretty hungry. Maybe we imagined it. Listen, Nathaniel. People already think you're nuts. But I still have a chance. It's true. They do call you boy who talks to sheep. Bad? I'm out. I gotta go eat something. I'll go with you. Well, I am in. We have to go tell people about this baby. I'm in, too. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened. I'm with Boy Who Talks to Sheep. We've got to see this baby. <laughs> right now, the shiny guy said king. Did they say king? I cannot go see a king without at least a wolf blowout. That should take, mm, maybe till dawn if I start right now. Cece, get me my crimper. Again with the wool do? Have you learned nothing? Well, I've learned you don't go see a king without making a, at least a little preparation. Look, something's happening with Nathaniel. Abigail's right. I'm already a laughing stock in town. Plus, I got to take care of the flock. Beatrice hasn't been looking very well. Not looking well? Well, that's the last time I defend you, buddy. I'll have you know, I haven't been getting my usual 10 hours of sleep. I've been getting nine, and you might not know what nine hours of sleep does to a sheep's body. I'm working under impossible conditions here, and if you think... What's going on with your sheep? Ba, 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 ba. It's okay, old girl. Ba? <laughs> For once, I was going to follow some good advice. I would stay in the fields and take care of my ailing sheep. I was always too impulsive, and I needed to be responsible. The baby could wait. What we didn't know was that far off to the east, wise men had seen a star and wondered what it could mean. Gifts, one of a kind, most expensive treasures we can find. A star in the sky like I've never seen before. Do you see it? A star like I've never seen before. Must mean a miracle. A miracle is waiting for the world.
mean a miracle a miracle is waiting for the world I don't care if these humans have gone crazy some glowing angel beings appeared to all of us so we're gonna see, to go see what they were talking about. It's decided we're gonna see that baby. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> but Nathaniel thinks we should stay here. How can we convince him? We could try the sheepinator again. I don't think so, Jojo. Let's try to communi communicate with Nathaniel. Sometimes I almost think he can understand us. What if he doesn't? Then we go to plan B. But let me try first. Nathaniel, I really think we should go see the baby like the angel said. This could be one of the greatest moments in history. And I don't want you to miss out on that. Love you too, buddy. <laughs> Plan B then? <sighs> Plan B, when I give the signal, take off running in the direction the angel said to go. But only if I give the signal, I'll shout, find that baby. Well, let's try to convince him one more time, all together this time. Be my guest. Why are they all staring at us? Your sheep are kind of freaking me out. And suddenly, the strangest sound came out of Max. Ba, ba, baby. Amazingly, it seemed my favorite sheep had known what to do, and I did not. They went to find the baby, and so we followed. Whoa! Max, Beatrice, I think we're here. Where the angels told us the baby king would be. Is this the baby? The king? The messiah? The stars are brightly shining This silent night The stars are brightly shining The world is waiting Searching for something more For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will, will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. That night, the Savior of the world was born into a stable, and we were the first ones to see him. Nearly two years later, the wise men would arrive after their long journey, but we would never forget the chance to be among the first ones to know about God's precious gift. In the bleak midwinter, all creation groans. For a world in darkness, frozen like a stone, light is breaking in a stable for a throne. So you see, it really was a night to remember, a night that changed the course of history. Hope was born into a world that desperately needed it. Oh, Max, I wish you could understand what happened that night. It changed everything. Bah.
Jesus born and my life is forever changed. I'm ready to tell the world it's all about that baby. proud. Um, so thank you all for being here. Um, it has been wonderful. We have loved this musical and by now the kids usually are starting to get tired of singing it and practicing and we honestly, some of them are nodding yes, but was it not fun? We loved it. I loved it. It touches my heart to hear them singing at the top of their voices like that and seriously, when they go into Oh Holy Night, it makes me want to cry every time. I love it. Um, the fifth and sixth graders, this is an enormous class this year. And we had to really work hard on getting parts and solos and stuff for everybody to have because there were so many kids. And some of them gave up speaking parts in order to have um, solo parts, and they've worked really hard at that. And I was very grateful for that because there really wasn't um, enough speaking parts to go around to everybody. But um, they were amazing. And the um, K through fourth grade, you guys are raising awesome kids. They were so good. They've been awesome this whole time. And so it was a pleasure. I loved it. And um, we look forward to next year. So thank you all for being here. Yeah.